Hi everyone, Engineer Liu here. So last video we talked about pointers and on this video, as I promised, we'll start talking about arrays and we'll see its relationship with pointers. Okay, so as usual, let's create our example. I believe it's example 14.c. Write our already basic boilerplate. And uh, uh, I looked the, up the, the name of the symbol is actually called the ampersand, okay? But you can call the and sign, whatever. So just out of curiosity. So basically, um, an array is a type of data structure where we store uh, sequentially um, the same data type. So for example, you can declare um, arrays of several sizes. Usually we deal with uh, one-dimensional arrays and two-dimensional arrays, but you can have three-dimensional, four-dimensional, and so on. So for a one-dimensional array, let's create a, an array which will store integer type. So we create like this, and let's say we it will have the size of 10. And let's make it smaller, like 5. And we can initialize it this way, so you have the numbers from 1 to 5, okay? And uh, how do we print this array? Okay, so one way to do it, here we use a auxiliary variable, and we use a for loop, so for e i equals 0, i minus i less than 5, i plus plus, um, we print then the contents of this array. So array, oops, um, like this. So in C, the first element of an array can be access, accessed by uh, the index. So we can access any member of the array by its index. So let's say we want to see what's stored on the, on the first element of the array. We have to then specify uh, its index. Okay, so array i. So it will first print the one, which is the zero uh, index of the array, then the two, three, four, five. Okay, so it goes to zero to four. Okay, so that's because i is less than five. Um, let's compile and run. Example. So here it is uh, on the uh, first element, which is index zero. We have one store, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five. Okay. So another way we could do this is actually we don't initialize the array, and then uh, we store. Uh, the elements of the array by using a for loop. So basically like this. Array of i equals to i, okay? So that should give us the same result. And as expected, ah, I started with uh, zero, so here it must be i plus 1. Okay. And now we got the same result as expected. So, what does that have to do with pointers? So, let's take a look at that. 
So let's say we want to print uh, the elements of an array. So let's try something like this. Uh, okay, so you see what's going on here, okay? So it's uh, int. It's a pointer, okay? So uh, let's compile and run. What do you think will happen? Of course, it prints only the first element of the array. So what's going on here? Okay, let's try to understand. Uh, arrays in C are actually pointers. So here we are dereferencing this pointer, which points to the beginning of the array. Okay. So if we want to print the other members of the array, we have to, let's say, walk through the memory of this array. So you have to imagine this array like this. Let me write a comment like this. So uh, our array is, will be actually something like this in the memory. So at first, uh, our array pointer, uh, it's pointing to, oops, it's actually one, two, three, four, five. It's actually pointing to the first element. So we have to increment our pointer in memory because it is stored continuously on memory. And uh, it's usually called the stack. So it's stored in the stack, so it's all continuously and uh, to in order to print let's say uh, the second element of the array we have to advance the pointer to the second element like this okay so how we, do we do that using the increment operator of course so we use it like this array plus plus so this will make the pointer go at each iteration from 0 to 4 um, we will be moving uh, the pointer of this array. So let's see what will happen. Um, L value. Okay, so let's correct this. Okay, so apparently no errors. And then, as expected, we got the same result that we were that we were looking for. Okay. So, as I said, uh, at, at, at each iteration, we are, we will be moving the pointer. So, the pointer of the array is initially at the first element, and then we advance for the second, the third, and and so on until all elements are printed. And uh, okay, so this is for a integer integer type, but the floats doubles it mostly works at the same uh, manner. However, on the previous video, I mentioned briefly uh, arrays of charts, which uh, we usually call strings, a string of characters. So let's see how it goes with that. Um, Okay, example of, uh, 15. So, standard IO. So, um, uh, there's two ways we can declare um, a string C, if you remember. So, let's call this string uh, 1. And let's just say uh, hello, okay. And string two will be a world, okay. So here for string two, uh, it, there's a, there's a tiny detail, tiny but very important detail. You see that all the strings in C are terminated with uh, the end with the new character. So when you want to 
declare it like this we, we, here we, in this case we have one two three four five uh, characters uh, instead of using uh, five here for the size of this array of chars we must use six because this will be terminated with this also said uh, called uh, new character okay so um, let's print this string on this on the on the screen okay so one way we can do this is uh, while uh, let's say uh, string that's the reference uh, let's create a actually our variable here so while string one here uh, accessing accessing uh, char by char by this of the string while or our, our char of our string which is an array of characters is different than the new character we print this uh, the screen okay so uh, percentage C and then um, string one I. okay that's one way to do it and uh, okay so let's print a new line here and let's compile okay unusual another unusual variable well that's not a problem at all we will be using afterwards so okay so there appears to have a problem here so what's going on here the problem is uh, this string is not terminated with the new character so let's insert it right here oops uh, I think now it should work And still, it doesn't. Uh, okay, so what seems to be the problem here? Or hello. Of course, we didn't define uh, the last element of this string. So let's try something like this. A string one, uh, five, here it's zero one two three four five it should be equal to the no char okay so and now we run into a segmentation problem. okay so as you can see we are running into some problem here and uh, we'll see a minute why so let's try it with uh, string 2 instead of string 1. And another problem. Uh, string 1. Oops. What's going on here? Uh, string 2 is different than no character then we print that seems to be the problem here I uh, uh, of course uh, we have to increment I like this okay so I forgot to increment I and then it worked with the first string and now let's try it with the second string replace it here and here okay so it work, uh, worked with both strings uh, as you can see here uh, when we declare this, this string one here uh, the C compiler automatically placed the no terminating character here so it doesn't run into some problems but 
let's see what happens if instead of using a six character as needed we use five so we leave no space for the new character remember in memory uh, string two is h a h e l l oops it's world okay so we have the new character here okay so it's uh, expect expecting this okay so uh, what happens if we don't leave uh, any room for the new character uh, no warnings regarding this and uh, apparently it worked so at some point uh, it encountered the new character so here we have uh, four or five let's change it to four and let's see if we can break this uh, initializer for array of char is too long okay so and now we managed to break the program so you can see that uh, despite uh, here we are uh, reserving a space of four characters but we are using actually five so when we try to print uh, the string we run into some garbage in memory let's try to execute again as you can see all wrong results so uh, i believe it's compiler dependence so but for safety we can allocate uh, five uh, plus one so we don't run into some problems okay uh, of course we can uh, do something similar as we did uh, with integers like dereferencing the string like this and then uh, the referencing a string and then like this and then let's compile run and we blow up okay so let's try it uh, so uh, here we are dealing with uh, a string. A, I think we can make it like this. Okay, assignment. Okay. So let's print this assignment expression with array type uh, I think it should work oops okay so we are breaking the program and the strategy we use for integers doesn't work with uh, strings as intended okay so yeah we can try however let's let's maybe erase this and uh, for i equals zero i less than uh, uh, six and i plus plus We then print uh, the char that's uh, on string. Okay, so it will be string two 
and then we do something similar like and we run to the same issue here Uh, of course, uh, for strings in C, you can actually simply print them like this, and it will work. So we print a uh, world on the screen, and. Uh, let me add a new line here and uh, when we define the string as, uh, as a pointer we can do something like this um, for i equals zero i less than uh, we have uh, four, four letters so it's five i plus plus we can print char and uh, string one and then dereference it like uh, this. I think it should work. Oops. Okay, so we are running into a segmentation fault here. We are dereferencing the string, and I think it should be like this. Uh, it expects an int. So let's. Okay. A string uh, i let's see how we did in example oops so with the reference the array and then uh, we did something like this but for strings it appears that uh, the same logic here doesn't work okay so let's try one more time um, Here, okay, so uh, at first it's pointing to okay. And there appears to be some trouble here. Let me check if that makes sense. So here we have world, and we are dereferencing the string here. So it should be pointing to O, and then we add one. And we do that five times. Okay, so uh, 
uh, as you can see here the same logic doesn't apply uh, for strings strings are special case so if we want to print a string in C you can use either this strategy or you can simply use a while loop like for example a string by uh, different than the new uh, character and then we print char by char of the string Oops. Again, I forgot to increment uh, I here. Okay, so uh, now we have a functional example, and as you can see, these are two valid ways to print a string in C and uh, arrays and pointers of strings. Of pointers of uh, an arrays and pointers of type char, they behave differently than uh, the rest of the pointers. Okay, so this is basically it, it uh, regarding arrays in C. And uh, well, we haven't looked at uh, multi-dimensional arrays. And since this video is getting quite long, I think we can end it right here. So, hope you guys enjoy and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Uh, see you next time and bye.